discovered husband had affair, so he ended his life. Hi guys. This was two years ago now and so I've had some time to gain perspective on the situation, but I have read some of your stories and want to share mine and ask for some advice. Basically, I 30F was sitting at home one night having just put our 9 month old to bed, and got some weird social media ads from a friend of mine. She added me to Insta, FB, etc. I was so confused because I didn't know she had unfriended me. So I texted my husband 35M that she was being a weirdo I had zero thoughts of them having an affair together, she was slash is married, and I thought my husband was faithful. 20 minutes later my husband walks in the door telling me we need to talk. I still didn't put two and two together and thought he got fired from work or something, he looked so despondent. That's when he told me about the affair. It hurt so bad to be backstabbed by a friend and my husband at the same time. He was apologetic but was also flipping it around on me not being happy enough etc. I had just had a baby and went through a cancer scare at the same time. How was I supposed to always be happy? I shouldn't have, but I texted her too, and she flipped it on me as well, telling me I should have had better control over my husband. Double WTF. I'm not here to control anyone and I trusted him and her. Anyways, it gets worse. Apparently he had confessed to her that this wasn't the first time he had cheated on me. He had hooked up with randoms at work too. She threatened him that she would tell me if he didn't tell me right away she cited morality, Lamau, as of now she felt the need to be moral. Anyways, he told me, I reacted poorly and told him I couldn't tolerate that and we needed to divorce. I had been trying to accept his affair with my friend not smart, but I desperately wanted things to work between us, but hearing it was a chronic thing for him changed the game entirely. So I told him I was out. That was when he took off and ended his life. It took hours for police to find him and the whole time I was hoping he took off to blow off steam, but his tone when he left scared me, so I called 911 and police were at my house for about 6 hours until the official notification came. I guess my question in all this is. How do I live with no answers or closure? How do I live knowing that my friend just blocked me on everything and continues to live her normal married life when my family blew up and my son has no dad anymore? How do I ever trust someone intimately again? I am in therapy and it helps mostly alleviating my guilt at not saving him from himself but holy hell this is a lot to live with. It all feels very unfair that I had no hand in any of this and I and my poor little dude still ended up being the ones totally screwed over. Did she get exposed? How did her husband react? Do you still have a relationship with your husband's family? This is awful. She did not get exposed. We didn't share a lot of mutual friends so it didn't really impact her life at all of course all of my close friends know, but that does not affect her. She had the audacity to come to my husband's public memorial with her husband. I didn't say anything that day because I was still in shock and also was overwhelmed with all the people talking to me. I never found out how her husband reacted. Like I said, she blocked me from everything shortly after the funeral, but they are still married so. Yeah. I know he knows about what happened but I have no idea what his thoughts slash feelings on it are. She did tell me her husband was fine with it when I texted her after I found out about the affair. But those were her words, not his. I do not have a relationship with my husband's family. They couldn't really cope with what happened and avoided me in the days following his death, then moved across the country. In part I think their inability to face any issues is likely why my husband had the psychological difficulties that led him to suicide, actually probably cheating too, very much avoidant tendencies. I would never tell them that, obviously, but he had a crappy family. Her words has no meaning because of capability to lie and cheat with your husband. Her husband deserved to know her infidelity directly and if he is fine with it then so be it. Cheaters tend to be very good at creating lies until the truth caught up to them. If I was you I would expose her to her family. She screwed mine so I will do the same. His poor husband has the right to know about his wife. 
My thoughts exactly. She should contact the husband, give him the information he needs and move on. He can decide what he should do with it but he should know. It's very clear from that ex-friend's behavior that she was only adding you on the socials in that moment so she could message you about everything and expose your husband in that moment. Clearly she didn't care about you, she only cared about getting back at him because she probably felt betrayed that he had slept with other women besides her. An absolute shame and disgrace that she doesn't care enough to even check on you or even acknowledge what happened. Sigh. My ex-boyfriend committed suicide in July of 2014. No cheating, just me leaving him for other reasons. I guess you don't really get closure. And life isn't fair. You're two years past the incident. Another cliche incoming, it's easy to love the dead, they make so few mistakes. You're in therapy, that's great. Just do your best, that's about all you can do. Tilda did you tell the other betrayed spouse question mark Tilda never mind, seen the answer in another reply. Your husband made a mistake but he was impatient in his decision. The friend of yours is a true vixen and anything she says will most definitely be a lie. If she did tell you that her husband knows, you can know for sure that that's a lie. Such women like to manipulate men in their lives and her husband is just a placeholder for her. She certainly deserves justice for not only going behind your back but talking ask righteous out of sudden morality. She must have tortured your husband before he did what he did. These kind of humans don't deserve to live with their viciousness. No matter what you do, I ask you to prioritize your mental health and that of your little dude. Telling on her might not really bring you anything at this point but karma most certainly has its ways. What you need to do is let go of the past and start loving yourself again. After all, you aren't going to live for a 1000 years. Try to get over this with constant efforts and start living a happy life again. You may find intimacy when you love yourself again. Unfortunately, even had he lived, you were unlikely to ever truly get any real answers from him or closure. It just hurts that his child no longer has a father. The Ao is a disaster. Her marriage is likely awful after infidelity and watching the AP kill himself. I would reconcile that she never truly was your friend and has serious issues in life that will leave her perpetually unhappy. As for you, continue therapy and look into survivor support groups for suicide. I think you could find value with using support from folks who have experienced the same even if yours had additional issues. To add on, I wouldn't worry about trusting ever again. I would worry about the red flags and manipulation strategies you probably missed. If there were none highly doubtful, then you need to figure out how to vet. Knowledge is power and can help prevent you from being as clueless and trusting in the future. Trust is not a virtue. It is something that must be earned over years by consistent, not vague, clear communication. And you have to become obsessed with learning red flags and manipulation strategies to protect yourself. But that is something to worry about a decade from now. It sounds like your entire world turned upside down and you're worrying about everything at once, which is exhausting. Compartmentalizing will help if you can. I just hope you're someone who refuses to move into another relationship until you figure out what went wrong. I'm basically a profiler at this point. I can now predict behavior pretty well. Let me tell you, I simply had an inaccurate view of how good people are. Most dating prospects are shitty. Now that I know how people really are, I haven't been blindsided once. People are predictable if you know the little behavior signals that most have. My sympathies for your loss and your son's loss and I'm so sorry you're going through all this. I'm not really equipped for the advice you need but I do want to acknowledge your story and empathize. Once a spouse breaks their marriage vows, Emo the other spouse is no longer bound to the marriage. It's valid for BS to leave their spouse over betrayal, over a EA or even a single kiss. Your WH was a serial cheater and committed a double betrayal as one of his affair partners was a friend, you did not react poorly, requesting a divorce was wholly justifiable. 
JMO, only you can give yourself closure. You should work towards forgiving yourself, your husband and his APs. Forgiveness is giving up the hope of changing the past, and closure is letting the past go. Accept that it can't be changed, that you won't ever know why he did what he did and most of your questions will go unanswered. Once you accept that and let it all go, you'll have closure and can move forward. But it's not easy. That I know. I'm wishing you well. Side note, if your belief the OBS is aware of the affair is BC the lying cheating ex-friend says so, he doesn't know. Emo you should inform him as he deserves to know. <laughs>